and make sense of some of this data. So we have the same data which we have copied and pasted here. What it says is commercial vehicle sales. So we can we can point out a few things here that CV sales are declining over the years and bike sales show significant growth right so bike sales show significant growth over the years going up from something like 52,000 here to 3 lakh here whereas CV sales go down what it also gives a sense is CV industry commercial vehicle industry is seeing degrowth or negative growth why is that is because they we remember they have maintained market share or they have reported the highest ever market share in this from our earlier discussions right now that's one part of the story their total sales is 9300 right component sale is 380 right component sale is uh, is 380 and total sales is 93751 so effectively what we are saying is that 9351 is equals to bike segment plus commercial vehicle segment plus any kind of components that come in right we know what the component sale is that's about 380 crore do we know what the bike sales are so if we if we look at uh, the data here in terms of bike sales the bike sales number is 3148 right so this here can be put in as 3148 we can find out approximately what is the commercial vehicle sales number that will work out to something like I think 5700 or 5800 crore approximately that gives us a data of what what kind of sales is available the other interesting important information that is available with us so we're going to calculate this as well approximately what's the sales number we'll see that if that number is also available elsewhere we'll try and gauge that number and uh, try and arrive at that number now let's turn our attention to the bike segment first now this is 3 lakh bikes sold and 3100 crore earned by selling those 3 lakh bikes can we try and find out the price per bike is that available so technically we have to take this 3148 and divide by 302592 bikes right this is obviously in crores so we have to convert it to rupees by multiplying it 10 raised to power 7 right and we can do the same analysis here which is 497 into 10 to the power 7 divided by 52 576 and we can find out whether they have been able to increase the price of the bike or not right let's do this analysis we'll quickly open a rough excel file and try and do this analysis so let's put in the numbers for 2014 and let's put in the number for 2010 what is the sales value very quickly 3148 crores and 497 crores and what is the volume that they have sold can we get the volume that they have sold and this remember is for the bikes what is the volume that they have sold that's 302592 so we put in 302592 and earlier this was 52576 right price per bike so that's equal to my sales value converted to crores divided by the volume right let's increase this size sales value converted to crores divided by volume and drag it ahead and we get the price per bike right now the price per bike has actually gone up from 94,000 to 104,000 1 lakh 4,000 which is interesting right traditionally you would suspect that a company that is raising sales 
would have a declining price. That's what traditional economics talks to us. But this is a company that has increased sales volume and has also increased per unit price which is remarkable usually you don't find this common economics will tell us that if you have to increase sales volume you can't really increase price but if a company is able to do that that tells you about the financial strength of the company right so we will note down this point in our discussions that we have uh, already created the document we'll add, add data points to that document